guess that's a good place to put I, I hit control I'll call this part one part two part three I hit the control pose now I have the post view if I tab out of there now that same program the uh, post that was in Craigslist is in my program well, what's nice about my program is I can co cover this right here like a paste and I can drag it over and I give that the subject. It's now over here in the subject. The same thing. I don't want to <laughs> lose my focus. Duh. So I also go and cover all of this things right here. I put a note and I put things like if I hit this note right here it tells me the time I did something. So now I can take that and I can just drag, oops, go here again, and cover it and then just pull it over there. Now I got all the information. So if this ad is deleted, I will know what's going on. Now, a couple things in here. There's a number in here that I can use. I will drag it to a number up here. Now there's some little things, buttons here that I'll explain at another time, but it says yes or no these are important buttons to me what that says is that that person is on the do not call list if I put yes if I put no I it's it's then on the I can call them now there's differencing of opinions I believe if you're if you're calling as a listing agent on a property and you put do not call on there you're actually offering a service according to the statutes of the United States Code. So I do not want an $11,000 fine. To keep myself from getting an $11,000 fine by someone who is wise out there and probably is going to be a little bit wiser now that I brought it to their attention, is I have to download this list every 31 days. I have downloaded the list yesterday. I see another number in there and I go and I put that and I drag it up there too, the phone. I'm going to take this out because I don't want to sit there and and say, think that I've already made a, checked it when I haven't. Okay, so it's got this, all the information on this is a little, you know, it's hard to read. And wouldn't you know it, it said Wasilla. And after going through all that, so I don't want that one. So what do I do? I go do an alternate tab. And guess what? I'm back to where I was at Craigslist. I then go and do an alternate backspace. I then, if you could do everything by controlling things, you actually can go, if I remember properly, go down to each one. But now, I'm going to just click on this one, and it says it's with dynamic, good people. And you will find, usually, that people, agents, will put things in a row. It's the same agent, or put them in all at once. Same agent. So you got to keep going down. This is a kind of keen eye. And I just go down to another one in Eagle River. Open house. Oh, it's an agent. Boy, there used to not be so many agents in here, but there are a lot now. I think because I've been talking up Craigslist. Craigslist is a good place for properties to be, for at least for me to find them. And I think owners too. So I've been going down here until we find oh, somebody from Fort Lauderdale put one in. Prince William Sound, Upper Golden View. Oh, so they go for Golden View. This one is not an agent. They put in Zillow. Zillow is another system. What I'm going to do is now do the same thing as I did. I tab to the top of the screen. You see at the very top, you tab first. It now, it <laughs> by hitting the tab. Huh, thought I had the tab. Well, I clicked at that time. If you're, it, depending on where you start, I suppose, it, to give you the idea, if, if I hadn't have done anything or clicked on anything, I could have tabbed in there. So I'm tabbed, now I do a control C to copy, con c alternate tab, alt tab gets me back to the FileMaker Pro program that I created. I then go and create a new one. Uh, that's control N. You, know, you got to be in the thing else. Watch control N then control V, then tab, it's there. So we got the beautiful log home there, we go and take that, so I have a subject to talk about, drop it in. Take the rest of the things, the sub, the, the actually that's the heading, I probably misnamed it, but put a note in there, drag it over. Find the numbers, it's right here, 
put it in there, first number, put the second number in there to call or not call. Go down. Usually they have the address. Ah, here it is. 6511 Italy Circle. So I put that in there, Italy Circle. In this case, I found, I've seen this house before, but I'll go through it on part three.